Hey there guys, Luke here, your digital concierge with Gramophone. Today we have something epic quite like we've never had before. The biggest, the baddest ever Sony home theater projector that... Well, there just ain't anything quite like it. Your home theater experience just got better than any commercial cinema you've ever been to. With colors like you won't believe, brightness like the sun, and an overall image quality that will blow you away. The GTZ 380 elevates the home theater experience beyond any previously set bar I have ever conceived. We're gonna break down all of the incredible specs and features that went into this gigantic work of art. But before we get into that, guys, make sure you subscribe to the Gramophone channel and click on that bell notification icon because we've got a lot of great content on the way, covering many other exclusive products, a lot like this one, as well as headphones, speakers, electronics, you guys name it, don't miss out. Now then, the Sony GTZ 380, and why this is probably the most legendary projector ever made, at least for home use. All right, so what are the features and what are the specs of the most insane projector ever made? Well, I think the most impressive one is top of the list, and that is that this is a 10,000 lumen projector. No, not 1,000, 10,000. Some of the brightest TVs made today hit around 2,000 nits of brightness. Doing that math, that makes this projector about 3,000. So if you don't know anything about TV brightness, yeah, this smokes everything, even the brightest TVs. Looking at this projector in HDR highlights, when you're watching some of the best HDR content, like, great example is Mad Max. Oh my gosh. Whenever the sun's on screen, you feel like you're actually looking into it and you have to squint. It makes that feeling of being there, especially in daylight scenes, it's indescribable. It's incredible. It's like nothing you have ever seen before and I can virtually guarantee that. The other thing about this projector is its full-scale color accuracy. Achieving a full 100% on the DCI P3 index, which most, again, of those brightest TVs can't even do, is an incredible feat, making this not only reference and brightness, in fact, beyond reference in most cases, but a complete standard reference and color as well. This is a laser projector, but unlike most laser projectors, which use a single laser engine and a phosphor wheel, this has three separate lasers and they fuse that beam into one. One of those is an incredibly high output blue laser that uses a wheel for white colors. The other two are completely independent reds and blues for doing your details and fine colors. Combining those into one, you get that incredible output and excellent color resolution. And just in case, guys, I should mention it, but we probably already know this, this is a 4K projector, and this is Cinema 4K, making it 4096 by 2160 as opposed to TV 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. You get that little bit of extra width. The inverse of a projector that's so bright, but also so accurate and pinpoint in all of its light delivery, is that this has excellent black levels when used in an ideal room. So if you have a high quality white projector screen and your room is nigh pitch black, well that means all the black scenes in movies are going to be just that. This projector with its incredible brightness set up properly is going to give you an experience that is almost like OLED TVs when it comes to contrast, but far beyond anything that we know when it comes to the highlights. That's why this thing is so breathtaking and the first time I saw it, I didn't want to get up. Part of making all of that experience come to life though is image processing, because no matter how good your hardware, it means nothing if your firmware and your software can't keep up. You've gotta have a holistic experience when it comes to making a great product like this. And Sony is pretty much the GOAT when it comes to image processing. Their X1 processor, which is built into this unit and a handful of their other projectors for this model year, is the first time that something of that level has ever found its way into a projector. You probably know the X1 name from Sony TVs, having often been heralded as the best, and now it's here in projection. That image processor allows us to utilize the incredible output of these lasers, 
their color accuracy, and grade everything in a way that contrast will be maximized, sharpness and lines separating every detail on screen are just insanely clean. This processor is so good that it analyzes not only the whole image on the screen, but rather it can break down every object in the image to highlight what the human eye finds most appealing. That way, no matter what you're watching, be it a movie, even a short video, you are seeing what that director and that producer wanted you to see. Part of what that processor does to improve the overall image quality and ensure you're getting nothing but the best is a digital contrast enhancer to make sure that the difference between those inky blacks and sun-like highlights are as good as they can get. It also uses something called dual database processing. One is a noise reducer to remove visual noise from your image. The other is an upscaler to take anything that's not natively 4K and upscale and increase it to 4K. And Sony has probably got some of the best upscaling tech in the industry, making most things that you feed this projector, as long as it's a strong 1080p signal or better, look almost native. Essential for any great projector is an equally great lens to cast that image onto your screen. And the Arc F lens gives you corner to corner image sharpness with a size range like you won't believe going all the way up depending on the lens you use as this has two different options available depending on your mounting and your screen size. This can go up to a maximum screen size of 1200 inches. No, not 120, 1200. 10,000 lumens, 1200 inches, 100% DCI-P3. What does this not do that isn't insane? Going hand in hand with that lens is processing optimized for it, using a digital focus optimizer to ensure that everything that appears on screen is as sharp as possible when used with whichever of the two lenses. The picture position memory in this unit also stores up to five different settings for overall screen size, aspect ratio, and some other fine adjustments. That way, if you have a transforming screen, or you like to adjust your ratios depending on what you're watching, for those who are true cinephiles who want to chase every last detail, this projector is ready for it with those five programmable settings. This is a 2.06 motorized lens, allowing for up to an 80% vertical adjustment and 33% width adjustment. So you've got plenty of correction you can dial in once this is mounted. Finally, this 4K motion flow to help smooth out any would-be juttery images and keep everything moving smoothly across the screen because Poor motion resolution is a real drag and you're almost never going to have that problem on any Sony product, especially not the greatest projector they've ever made. Alright guys, let's talk about the design of the GTZ 380, which as you guys can see already looks epic, but we'll get more into it. First, let's start with the basics, cover the dimensions, will this fit in your home? This is 22.06 inches in width. This is 8.97 inches in height. And this is 29.94 inches in depth. And it weighs pretty whopping 112 pounds, so don't pick it up by yourself. Look at this thing. It's more tactile in its design than just about any other Sony projector functional design that still looks really cool to actually behold. Notice the excellent venting at the front. At the back, you have four large but very quiet, and that's the trick, fans that pull and cool this thing through closed loop liquid cooling like a high-end PC would have, helping this run for a long, long, long lifespan, as that is some seriously efficient stuff and staying almost whisper quiet for something that generates this amount of output and would be heat. Other units that would try to compete in this space, oh gosh, don't get your hands anywhere near the vents. And gosh forbid it's actually in the same room as the screen because they are thundering loud. Not so with the GTZ 380. Sony built a unit that has world-class performance, not only visually, but even in its functionality. That way, it is nothing but pure enjoyment. And as you guys can see, it comes in this lovely graphite black finish, but really what else would you want for a home theater projector where you're supposed to turn the lights down anyway? So it just blends right into the room, visually and sonically.
All right, guys, and some quick notes about compatibility. Being a home theater projector, it is, of course, outfitted with HDMI. You get two HDMI ports, and PC gamers rejoice. If you want the highest end gaming experience probably ever, this actually has DisplayPort, which I couldn't believe for the life of me, but it's there, which is really cool. Haven't seen that on a home consumer product in quite some time on almost anything else, so. Mm, thank you, Sony. Also, this has two trigger inputs for switching it on and off with AV racks, making it very easy, convenient and easy to power up with various types of control systems, receivers, processors, you name it. You also get an RS-232 for control system use, as well as two bayonet connectors for sync in and sync out. And you get a LAN connection for any internet connectivity and control uses, as well as firmware updates and the like. This thing does everything you would ever need it to do for home theater, and of course it does. And the inclusion of those display ports is just... <sighs> Sony's just writing us all a love letter. For $100,000, the Sony GTZ 380 is certainly not playing around with where it wants to stand in any product stack. It is at the top. It is the king of the hill. It is the single greatest image experience I have ever seen. And it deserves every bit of that price point. If you are ready to elevate a home theater experience to far beyond what you can get in virtually any commercial cinema, to the point where you just don't take the movie home, but rather your home visually becomes the movie. This is it. This is the end game. If you guys want to learn even more about the GTZ 380 or you want something like this installed in your home, as well as any other Sony projector for that matter, please head to gramophone.com for more information or stop by or give us a call at any of our showroom locations. You'll find us in Timonium, Columbia, and Gaithersburg, Maryland, as well as at our Kitchen Design Center in Hunt Valley, Maryland. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Hows, Twitter, and a few others. Just check the links down below. If you guys are looking for project ideas, need to schedule a service request, or want to speak to one of our hi-fi home theater and interior design experts, get inspired at gramophone.com. Also, ask at gramophone.com if you have any questions for me about anything I've covered here on the channel. I really hope you liked this one, so please give us a like if you did. Drop a comment down below and tell me what you think of this incredible unit. And make sure you subscribe to the Gramophone channel for all of your audio and home theater needs. And of course, please give me some feedback about this one. This is some of the most fun I've had in a while doing a video on almost anything because this thing is so cool. But also tell us what you'd like to see from us in the future as well. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been a pleasure, let me tell you. Be seeing you.